All right then, so far we have been interacting with the MongoDB server on our computer via Compass, which was the GUI tool that was automatically installed when we installed MongoDB. Now, another way to interact with our database is via the MongoDB shell, whereby we run MongoDB commands in the shell to do things like fetch, create, delete, and update data. And this approach would be much closer to how we'd be interacting with MongoDB from our application code. So for the majority of the first half of the rest of this course, I'll be using the MongoDB shell to teach you. And then pretty much everything we learn in the shell can be directly taken over into our application build, which uses MongoDB. And we'll see how to do all of that in the second half of the course, all right? So to use the MongoDB shell, we can either use the interactive shell that comes bundled into the compass tool at the bottom or in any other terminal on your computer. However, to run the shell in another terminal, you'll need MongoDB shell installed on your computer. Now, I'll walk you through that in the second lesson of the series. So if you've not already watched that video, definitely go back to that first of all and see how to do it before you go any further. Now, the way we use the MongoDB shell to interact with the MongoDB server is the same whether we use the integrated terminal here in Compass or another terminal on our computer. To use it in Compass, we can just open it up and start typing commands right away. For example, I could type the command show DBS, which stands for databases, and press enter, and that's gonna show all the databases that we currently have. You're also gonna notice this bit on the left that says test. Now that denotes what database we're currently working within in the shell itself. So right now it's saying we're working inside a database called test. But we can also see that we don't currently have a database called test. Now, I can switch to another database that we do have by saying use, and then a space, and then the database name. For example, bookstore, which was the database we created. And then you'll see that this changes to bookstore to say that now the database we're working with in the shell is the bookstore one, which we know does exist. So I can switch back to test by typing use, then a space, then test, and we can see test back on the left now, right? Again, this database doesn't really exist yet, but in the shell, it doesn't matter if a database exists or not before we start to work with it. So I could say something like use, then a space, and then some other database that doesn't exist. Maybe I'll call it mydb and hit enter. And now you can see that we're using mydb now, even though that database doesn't exist either. Now, if I was to make a collection and then add some data to this database in the shell, MongoDB will then create the database for us. And until then, it doesn't technically exist, but we can still switch between any database name using that use command, even if it doesn't yet exist. So this is the integrated shell inside Compass, but for the rest of the time, we'll be using the MongoDB shell inside another terminal. But if you prefer, you can stay here and use this one. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Now, to use the shell in a different terminal, first of all, open any other terminal on your computer. I'm using something called Windows Terminal, but you can use whatever terminal you want. And then all we do inside here is just type in Mongo SH, which stands for Mongo Shell, and then hit enter. And when we do that, it's gonna put us into the interactive MongoDB shell, just like in the Compass integrated shell. And now all the commands are the same. So I'm just gonna run you through some of the simple commands we can use in the shell. First of all, same as in the integrated shell, we can show all the databases by saying show DBS. That's gonna list out all the current databases we have. We can also use a specific database or switch between databases by saying use and then the database we want to use, for example, bookstore like so. And now we've switched to the bookstore. Now I want to clear the screen and to do that in the Mongo shell, I can say CLS and that stands for clear screen and press enter and that gives us a lot more room now to play around with. Now, if I want to see the current database I'm in, I can say DB and then press enter and we can see listed right here, bookstore, but we can also see it over on the left here as well. So it doesn't really mean anything at the minute that. Um, I could also list out all the collections inside the current database that we're in. And to do that, I could say show collections and then whatever database we're using, it's gonna look inside that, find all the collections and list them for us. In our case, that's just one collection at the minute, books, but if we add more in the future, it would list those as well. We can also create variables. So I could say 
var name is equal to Yoshi, like so, and press enter. And then if I try to get the name, it's gonna give us back that Yoshi value. And I can also change it if I wanted to. I could set name equal to something else. I could say Mario and press enter. And now if I try to get the name, it would be Mario, awesome. And then finally, if you want to get help with any of the commands, you can just type help. That's gonna list out all the commands we can use and what they mean. Now I'm just gonna clear this once more. One more thing I wanna show you, and that's how to exit the shell. And to do that, all we have to do is type exit and press enter. And now we can see we get back to this default path right here in the terminal. And remember to start Mongo shell again, we say Mongo SH and press enter. And now we're back in the shell, all right? So that's the basics of how to start working with the shell, but we've not really interacted with the database much yet. So next up, we're gonna take a look at how to actually add new documents to a collection in the database from the shell. And like I said, going forward, I'll be using this terminal right here, but if you prefer, you can carry on with the shell integrated with MongoDB Compass.